What's up guys, Jason the X for Alternate Heads coming at you with another review and this time I'm looking at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Series 6 action figures and we are going to review this whole wave together like we do, that way I can kind of, uh, you know, tell you which ones I like. Now granted, I like the whole wave, I think the whole wave is really good. This is a hard one to rank though, so going to be going one at a time and uh, but yeah, here they are, we have Goldar. Mighty Morphin. We have Mighty Morphin Black Ranger, which completes our Mighty Morphin Power Rangers team. We have our first from In Space. We have In Space Yellow. And our third, Zeo, and that's Zeo Ranger Red. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the bunch of them. And oh boy, they're good. Now, the first figure we'll be taking a look at is Mighty Morphin Goldar. And while I did rank him at the bottom of this list, he is actually an improvement. The reason he's at the bottom is because. We could have gotten this figure already. Of course, there was the GameStop exclusive Goldar, which we will be comparing him to, but this one's better. I'm gonna give him that, it's better, but we could have just made the first one the best. So anyway, let's go ahead and get him out of the way. And yes, my boxes are a little crushed. I picked these guys up from Target. They are floating around, so yep. You can see you got some nice box art of Goldar on the side there. Sorry, it's all crushed. Mighty Morphin Goldar. On the side, some artwork of Goldar. On the side, the continuation of that. And on the back, you, they're really going off on the color for what's on the back of the box to what's inside the box. This is clearly a dark wash done over that armor. And the face is very blue. The eye is a vibrant red. And that energy effect is purple. The metal on that sword is shiny. This is disappointing that, okay, look, show me what I'm getting here. Cause I wouldn't mind this paint scheme right here. Look at that sword, that sword is a shiny metallic silver. This is, we're seeing a lot of this with the back of the box art not matching up to the figure. And that's disappointing cause I really would like that. Wouldn't you look at that? You got the dark on the frill over the crown, man, just, ew. Hasbro, y'all gotta do better anyway. So let's take a look at Goldar. We'll go ahead and get his accessories out of his hand. Oop, just popped right out. So looking at the figure, zoom in a little bit here. You can see there's the Goldar face and you've got the, uh, you've got a bit of a, I want to say it's, 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 a, it's not really darker on the frill. I know it look, there, there is some paint applied there, but if you go to the back, it's not applied to the back. So you can see that it is a little bit darker. They should have gone just a shade more with that. You got the green jewels picked out. And you'll see like over the armor, well the armor underneath the honeycomb is a darker gold than the uh, solid pieces. So I like that on the back, you've got his uh, stubby remnants of wings. You got a little bit of cracks in the armor. And these are on those ball joints, on those holes that were there for the wings. So they will ball joint out a little bit. But as you see, there's more of that darker gold on the honeycomb portion of the armor. We've got his tail wrapped up in the back, and it is a softer plastic, same stuff that the uh, loincloth, well, the loincloth and the skirt piece are made out of. You'll see more of that darker gold on there as well. Solid gold, a lot of the purling in the, uh, in the plastic. There's more of that darker gold on the honeycomb. They even got some on the bottom. Uh, parts of the armor, the feet are just the gold plastic that's used. Going back up here. But, uh, and also, this Goldar comes with a better accessory, I'm saying, because he comes with his sword, which we'll get it right up here. Now this sword is, got some gold, got some red on there. Back this up a little bit, so you probably see all this. Got some red paint on the jewel. Nice gold accents to it. Make sure my camera's in focus. Come on, over here, over here, not over there. But here's the difference with this sword and the one that came with the other gold are. Anyway, comparing the two swords, they are completely different. If you look, this is a totally different sword and also larger than the one that came with the GameStop exclusive gold are. You'll see the jewel is different. The sword has got more detail on it. So they did improve it. This is a much beefier sword than what came with him. Also, the energy effects. This is what comes with our new Goldar, this nice red one that goes over the blade like so. 
just kind of kind of kind of slinky it on there and I like how that looks how it kind of goes like it's coming out of the jewel and just kind of wraps around the blade this looks good this looks really good but here's the energy effect that came with the uh, GameStop gold R. and it's okay but this is better of course a much beefier sword so and getting in that GameStop exclusive gold R. let's go ahead I'm gonna just say exclusive you can really see the differences on and these wings just will not peg in place now what I'm going to try is uh, taking the wings from him and putting them on this one because like I said you see the gold in the armor here not present in the armor over here or in the legs if you go down a little bit here but essentially they are the same figure just with better paint apps a better weapon and interchangeable wings now like I said we could have gotten this figure with just the other gold are just added in those little pieces and leave the wings on there so there was no need to reissue this one also my torso on mine is like super loose and it really makes it hard to stand. You can see I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get him to go forward and he is just falling over. This one, nice stiff ball joint in the torso. So it is an improvement. With that, it's I, I don't like reissued figures, but this does improve on the other one. So this is going to be my go-to gold R on the shelf. I might just unpeg the wings off of him, put them on this one, and we'll see how that works. But yeah, that is your gold R. I'm just going to get him out of the way over here. Excuse me, I hiccup. Looking at Goldar, he comes in at about six and a half inches tall at the top of his frill. Now here's your comparison of Goldar with a putty and Zed. And as you can see, I've taken the wings off of the other Goldar and let me tell you, they peg in a lot better. They're a lot tighter. Uh, yeah, they don't droop. See, like I can shake my other Goldar, I could shake it and the wings would fall down. Not here. So they've retooled that or made it better. I don't know but the wings are better on this one. So yeah, he's gonna end up being my go-to Goldar. And I, like I said, I hate that it's a reissue, but it's a good reissue and it fixes a lot of problems. It's a shame that we've already bought this figure. And the other accessories on Goldar are, there he goes over. You got an open uh, right hand here and a closed fist left hand. If you wanna interchange those, I, I'm gonna keep mine on there. I like the gripping hands. Articulation wise, you do have a uh, rocker on the ankle, goes back and forth, only goes up forward about that far. Twist at the ball joint that's going up into the leg. My phone thinks I'm talking to it. He does have the peg in the foot, you can go around there. Double jointed knees, goes about back about that far. No cut at the cap, but a cut at the thigh. Stupid phone trying to tell me stuff. Anyway, he Van Dam's about that far out, so not very much. He can ab crunch forward. Now, mind you, all of this is soft armor, so you can get him to ab crunch. You just got to make sure the armor gets out of the way. So it goes forward about that far, goes back about that far. You do have that nice tighter ball joint in the chest. Go back, go that way and this way, pretty far. Universal joints in the shoulders. It is that softer armor up here. So you can get a 360, but you're gonna be moving that armor out of the way. He does have, got some butterfly joints there. Very nice, double jointed elbows. Only goes about that far due to the restrictions with the armor. And the hands will go back and forth, both sides and spin at the wrist. He does have a ball joint for a head, but let's face it, he's got hair in the back and front. So you can go back about that far. So you can look up a little bit not much and he goes down about that far so yeah it's it's a little restricted by the hair but you can get something out of it and next on my list is the zeal red ranger now i know i've said that they go low to high but yeah I'm, it's another tommy what do you want from me it's another tommy i am happy that we're getting closer to completing zeo um so yeah and i do have a little uh, a little bonus piece i like to show off with this so i'm gonna go and get tommy out of the way except whatever so there we have some artwork on the side of Zeo Ranger 5 with his red helmet with the star on there. Zeo Red Ranger on the side, you get a little shot of that. On the other side, you get another shot of the helmet. On the back, you get a shot of Tommy blasting away, and he's got his uh, Zeo Saber down here. 
and I'm glad that this guy actually got his signature weapon, which is something we didn't get with Zeo Blue. So anyway, here we go. Let's take a look at Tommy. Let's get all of his accessories off of him so we can just show them off on their own. And this, this looks ridiculous. I, I got to do something about that. I have something for that. So anyway, taking a look at the figure, there is the helmet, the star pattern of Z05. Nice gold pattern. I love the designs on the gold. Extends into the butterfly joints like we saw with Zeo Blue and Zeo Gold. Coming down here, you got that nice gold continuing down here. On the back, we still got the design. Nice gold used on the uh, gold accents on here. There's a belt buckle that's got all the symbols there. You got the dual holsters on the side. Continue on with that pattern on the gold down here on the cuffs of the boots. And the nice white boots with the line that's a little bit further down. The nice fatter line of the uh, reused boot pattern that we see a lot in Power Rangers. But this figure looks good and he does come with more than a few accessories. So just popping off the helmet. We do get our second civilian Tommy head. And this is of the, the kind of long hair with the partial ponytail falling over the shoulders. But uh, pretty good, pretty good. We'll compare it to some other uh, Jason David Franks. <laughs> so more Tommies and there's, there's at least a more, there's at least more coming, I'm sure. So looking at this, he does have his Zeo Saber, which uh, looks okay. I'm, uh, I'm not big on the sabers just because he actually has a sword, so it's kind of, there we go, finally focusing up. But you got the blue, the gold. Uh, they didn't do any gold down here, but, you know, they got the just the plastic silver here. And it's okay, and you can fit it in the holster, but we're not going to do that with that one. No, no, no. Oh, we got something planned. He also comes with his uh, blaster. Nice gold and red with the black. Looks good. Uh, like the other blaster that came with Zeo Blue, the paint is already coming off just after a few applications. Now what you can do is you can take his effects, effects part, which is just this nice kind of bluish energy here, and it pegs right into the barrel of the gun, so you can pew pew right there. And that looks good. Plug that. And the other is his uh, Zeo Sword. You got the nice red star on there. Got some gold around that. Just the gray plastic painted black for everything else. There is the design there, but it's not painted in with the gold. And the blade is, uh, it's kind of shrimpy. I'm just going to go ahead and admit now. You can take that blaster. Oh, and also he comes with uh, two uh, fists in case you don't want open hands and want to exchange it out, but there you got two fists, not gonna use them. You can put the blaster in this holster, but what I have for the other holster is uh, the Zeal Saber clothes, which was what we saw on their belts all the time. Now I got this from Shapeways, designed in case. He also has a Zeal Saber, which I'm gonna be getting to compare it to size, and uh, but you can put that in, it's a little big, in comparison to the uh, to the other saber, just to give you an idea, it's not that much bigger, but it is. Uh, well, it's, it's quite a bit bigger actually when you look at it, but it will work in the holster, and that's what I have in my Zeo Blue. So if, once they get more Zeo characters, I'm going to need more of these. So, and that looks good. That looks uh, like it should. And getting the saber into his hand, like I said, it just looks a little. It looks a little underwhelming, okay? So I'm gonna see if the uh, saber that comes from designing case will look any better. If so, I'll paint it up and we'll go ahead and just take this off and put the helmet back on. Get on there, there we go. There we go. Now on the boots, we do have ankle articulation. Back and forth, peg in the foot, can rotate around. You got a cut at the calf double jointed knees, goes back pretty far, he can pretty much almost kick his own butt, cut at the thigh, goes around, he can, and the holster gets out of the way pretty good, but he van dominates about that far, ab crunch will let you go that far, go that far back, got a ball joint in the torso, universal joints at the shoulders, goes all the way around, goes up about yay far, 
butterfly joints will go in and out, double jointed elbows, and the cut will go 360 degrees at the wrist, and these are angled up and down, so you can get a lot of fencing poses out of that, so you can put a sword just a little bit forward like that, or, or back, so yeah, and the uh, helmet you saw was on a hinge and ball joint, so goes pretty far, goes down about that far, goes back about that far, so yeah, uh, granted, yes, it's the third Tommy figure that we've gotten. We're at least going to get one more, I'm sure. Um, at least we're going to get uh, Dino Thunder Black at some point. So, yay, yet another Tommy. And here we have a three-pack of Tommies, just to get a look at how they all look together. So, yeah. <laughs> and Tommy comes in at just about six and one-eighths inch. And here he is next to the other three Rangers that we have in the Zeal line. So this brings your count up to three for Zeo. And here's our next figure in the line in my ranking. It is the Power Rangers in space yellow ranger. And this is the first uh, in space ranger that we got and only like our third female behind Kimberly and Trini. So yay, this is great. Um, I love space. It's one of my favorite uh, Power Ranger series. Uh, the Megazord's probably my favorite. I love the suit. And when I found out about Mega Ranger, I really like that as well. So I'm glad to be getting some of these. Can't wait to get uh, silver and red and I'll just get the whole crew. But yeah, that's this is looking good. And let's go ahead and take a look at the box that it comes in. So you've got uh, this yellow design, of course. You've got In Space Yellow's helmet going around to the side. You can see a little bit more of it. In Space Yellow Ranger on the side. More of that artwork on the back here. There she is with the uh, bow, the one with her slingshot. And it's a purple energy. Once again, they gotta start matching these colors up to what we're getting in the box, okay? So, uh, just, I'm just getting kind of tired of it. So anyway, uh, I know they want to glam it up a little bit, all right? But you're hamming it up more. So, here's a look at the In Space Yellow Ranger, and she looks really good. You got the uh, black, yellow, red, pink, and blue squares on her chest. Nice job with the white on the shoulders here. Oh, she doesn't have an accessory in her. I'll go ahead and take that out just so we can see the character. She is a, this is a skirted design though. Nice gold used on the uh, belt buckle down here. You just got the plain white boots. But this is uh, very accurate. I like how it looks looking at the helmet just a little bit more. Everything came out very clean as far as the paint. I don't see any. They got the nice little speck of gold there. Vents on the side. I do have one little blemish right there in the white, but uh, yeah, they actually did. And they 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 put lines on her uh, butterfly joints, but they're too high. <laughs> they're they're way too high. Good attempt, guys. Good attempt. So you know, I'll I'll be happy that you tried. But we can go ahead and take her helmet off, and we can take a look at her civilian head. Pop on there. Is it on there? Can't tell. I didn't get that nice satisfying click, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it's on there. And the head sculpt looks good. The hair looks very very good. I'm not sure if they uh, got the license for the actress correct, but that's kind of been uh, something that we've seen in Lightning Collection. But it does look good, I'll give it that. It may not look much like her, but it does look good. So looking at some accessories that she comes with, she does have her uh, blaster, her sidearm, which we get this in sword mode, I mean in gun mode, not sword mode. You got the, got some red, good good paint apps on this actually. I, it's not totally complete, but it's good paint apps. Look, you got the little sp splotch of gold there for the symbol, Come around to the back. Same thing on the other side. And she holds it very well. She does have uh, triggered hands, so or triggered, uh, you know, I guess, that's the word I'm looking for. Trigger gripping hands. But the problem is the uh, area where her finger would go for that is very, very tight. So I'll bring this back a little bit. So you kind of have to kind of force her finger in there, but as you can see, it's there's not a lot of room and I'm not sure if that's actually accurate to how they held their weapons. I mean, you could easily put it here, and she's good to go. If that's supposed to be a trigger guard, I, I don't remember, but it'll go in her holster very well. Uh, other accessories that she comes with, she does have uh, two extra hands 
One is a fist for her left hand. And then there is a uh, chopping hand or something to do her poses for her right. And the other cool, she's got her uh, in space slinger. The slingshot, very nice. Got some black plastic on the yellow. There's a little warp because I've had it in her hand. And it does come with an energy effects piece, this nice blue one. And you just plug that into the uh, little caps here. And I'm pretty sure it's going to wear that silver down. But yeah, that looks good. I like that. I especially like that uh, she can hold it very well. It's actually got a little groove for her uh, fingers to go around that part. So yeah, she's gleefully shooting somebody. I'm gonna go ahead and change out the head back to her helmeted. See, that gives me a nice, a better click when it goes down onto her head. Articulation wise, she does have rockers in her uh, feet. They'll go back and forth on that joint. Pins in the foot, so it'll go around, cut at the calf. Double jointed knees, goes back about that far. Now the skirt is going to hinder Van Damnation, but she does go out pretty far, almost full, almost, so close. Got the uh, ab crunch, goes forward about that far. Can we get a little bit more? No, no. Goes back about that far, ball joint in the torso. She does have some nice butterfly joints, which, hey, they got the line right on this side. Universal joint goes up about that far, no uh, bicep cut. Single jointed elbows. Guys, we can do better. We can do better with this. Uh, these uh, wrists will go back and forth on a horizontal. 360 on the wrists. Same thing with this side, goes horizontally. The uh, head is on that uh, hinge and ball joints. So you can go up pretty far, down pretty far. So, yeah. Really great work on in space yellow. I can't wait to get more in space. Give me, give me silver next, since we didn't get, uh, yeah, give me silver next. Measuring the figure, she comes in just at about five and seven eighths inches tall. And here you see her compared to a couple of the ladies in the line, yellow from MMR, MMPR and pink from MMPR. And my number one figure of the way, it's MMPR Black Ranger. Now I'm just happy to have completed the second team of this line. And this is the last one we needed for MMPR and I'm glad they did it and not giving us a, uh, you know, that special gold edition anyway. But let's take a look at the box that Zack the Black Ranger comes in. So yeah, this is one of the other ones that was kind of crushed and messed up like my Goldar. These two came, the Goldar and the Black Ranger came from the same target and all of the boxes were just like mangled. So there's some artwork of Black Ranger on the side there. Mighty Morphin Black Ranger side, some of the artwork. And on the back, you get uh, a red effect on the uh, weapon. Now, the, the silver looks really good in this one, by the way. It looks real good. But uh, anyway, getting Zach in here, his silver actually does look good. It looks very close to what we're seeing on the box art. Now, yeah, we did get the special edition uh, armored Black Ranger in Walgreens, but this is our one that we, uh, and I actually kit bashed one up. Like, um, I had to repaint the chest, but comparing it, I didn't get the white quite right because there was a big blotch in the center, but it served its purpose. Yes, I bought one just to kit bash, but looking at Zach's helmet, there you go, you got the trunk, nice silver lines picked out very well. Let me get a close up of that. The silver lining is picked out very well. Not too many paint application issues. The gold on the helmet looks good. Going around, uh, everything on the back, nice clean white and black. I don't see a lot of paint apps. I did notice that this, uh, it's majority, ma uh, the plastic is actually white for the arm pieces and they only paint those little blotches of black. And as you can see, they kind of missed a little bit there. Easily fixed. You got the uh, belt buckle. You can kind of see the mammoth symbol on there. That does look good. The diamonds come out, came out real well. Going down to the boots, the diamond pattern does come out well. A lot of black, a lot of white. This looks good. And he's got that uh, traditional kind of ranger boot where the line is down here. And I dig this figure and I, uh, he does come with some different accessories. One that I'm actually happy to see. So you can take the helmeted head off and you have a civilian head of Zach that looks nothing like Walter Jones. It looks nothing like him. 
and here is a comparison to that other hit that we got with uh, with the armored gold ranger as you see, it's the same face they just uh, changed the hair up in fact it's uh, it's the exact same hat they just plopped this on I guess they kind of tooled it out a little bit but yeah same face but the uh, the shading is different if you look he is a different uh, shade of brown he's a little bit lighter over here but I think that's more accurate but anyway Look at accessories that comes with the figure. He does have two fists. Yeah, one that I've dropped. Just two closed fists if you want to put those on him. He does come with a uh, blade blaster in blaster mode. A little blotch, splotch of white on there. Not much else. But not only do you get a blade blaster in blaster mode, you get it in sword mode or blade mode. Nice little splotch of silver on the tip there. More of the white, and I like this. Yeah, I, 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 I was surprised to see he got signature weapon and two different versions of his blade blast. Now, none of them are closed up, but what I do have is from the uh, Legacy Collection. I just kept those blade blasters that were closed, and I'm just gonna put that right in his holster. Now, the other thing he comes with, he comes with his uh, Power Axe. Looks really good. Got the silver mammoth on there. The yellow on the uh, axe, yellow on the blade, silver on the barrel, and this looks really good. Mine's a little warped, but that's how it came. Uh, it will go forward for for blaster mode. And I love that effect, I like that. And here is the energy effects piece. And essentially it's the same one that came with the armored version, but uh, it's in this uh, sparkly purple instead of this translucent blue I think I like the sparkly purple one just a little bit better just because we've seen a lot of blue and you can take that effect piece and just plug it into the barrel of the uh, power axe and there you go looks good I'm gonna probably keep my more in axe mode in his hand just because you know I like to you know axe people things but articulation on this character on this figure the head the feet do have a peg in the foot, go around, rocks back and forth. You can see that. A cut at the calf. Double jointed elbow, uh, double jointed knees, not his elbows. He has a cut at the thigh. Van daminates about that far. Crunch at the ab, goes about that far. That far back. Ball joint in the torso. Of course, the uh, butterfly joints. Universal goes up, make a full 360 with the peg inside the shoulder, cut at the bicep, double jointed elbows. Wrist will do a 360 and go back and forth horizontally. And we'll go ahead and take his helmet, we'll take his head off and put his helmet back on. As you can see, it is just a hinge and a ball, so you can put that on there. Goes back about that far, forward about that far. And getting Zach set up straight, he comes in at just about six and uh, just over one eighths of an inch. And just a little bit of a comparison, I don't have green or white in there, but yeah, we've got a full Mighty Morphin Power Rangers team. These guys look great together. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else we can do from Mighty Morphin. We've gotten Rita, we've gotten Zed, we've gotten a Zordon and an Alpha, we've got putties. What else do you want to see from MMPR besides a Balkan Skull? You need a Balkan Skull. But yeah, here he is, full team completed. Woo! First, first Mighty Morphin team, all done, and I'm glad. These guys are going to look great on the shelf. Oh, and one final comparison. Here he is with the uh, Walgreens exclusive, which you notice they put more paint apps on the belt on this one than they did on that one. They actually got the red and the black on the morpher, so yeah, kind of cheaped out there. But yeah, it does look good together. Maybe there'll be a way to kit bash. Maybe I can take this off and put it over here. I don't know, but here you have them both together. All right, guys, there you go. That is lightning collection wave six and yeah these guys look great together this is a good wave they are popping up at targets right now go ahead and get out there and get to hunt and collect because that's where they are but yeah good wave yes i'm not happy about getting goldar again but overall it's a better goldar we're three deep for zeo we're completed mmpr and we're starting in space so i am a happy collector anyway guys i am jason the x you can follow me on here twitter and instagram at jason the x follow at the alternate heads podcast on instagram and like this video and subscribe. We could sure use your help growing the channel over here. Until next time, guys, 
I'll catch you later.